couple of days where, you know, I, 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 think, I think it's time that we tell the legendary story that, you know, that is my favorite of all time. Okay? <laughs> and I want, I want. I, I, breaking you know, news, ladies and, and gentlemen. And I want, and breaking I want you, news. I want you to be here to be able to respond to it. Because, look, in this day and age, we're a lot more relaxed than we used to be. Uh. So the story goes like this. Coach Bertman and, and uh, so my freshman year, Dan Canterbury screwed up. And he didn't get us a bus when we were in Kentucky. And we had yeah, we, to, we couldn't get a bus. Well, well, right. We couldn't get a bus, so we had to take the Lincoln Town Cars. Town Cars. And we had eight Lincoln. I don't know. You can't go to a, a rental car place <laughs> nowadays and get eight Lincoln. They don't even exist. Like, how do you get eight? That was amazing. And we, we had to drive from Cincinnati. So we drove, yeah, we, to, we flew, to yeah, yeah, because back then, that's what LSU did. You know, you went to Cincinnati, not Lexington, saved money, you know. Yeah, and course. we literally stayed at a La Quinta, which is Spanish for next to Denny's. And we literally <laughs> stayed at a La Quinta, like, which Paul Maneri would never, I mean, nobody, Jay would never stay at a La Quinta. <laughs> Jay Johnson would quit before he stayed at a La Quinta. And we stayed at a La Quinta. I, I, will say, I don't think Jay cares where he well, stays. Well, well, Paul would have quit. That, for that, sure, Paul would have quit. quit. But we, not only, we stayed at a La Quinta, Twice that year, we stayed in New Orleans and Metairie right. at the La Quinta oh, yeah. on veterans. Metairie, and veterans. veterans for the for the Win Dixie Showdown, right. and we stayed at a La Quinta in Lexington. Now the Baton Rouge Rougarou don't stay at a La Quinta, <laughs> Coach. Just want you to know that it's okay. So anyway, I, so we stayed at La Quinta. So that game, that weekend, it was freshman on the bags, freshman on the bags. So coach, so Coach Bertman, I was assigned to Coach Bertman's bags. And so I'm riding in the, 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 the Lincoln with Beetle Bailey's driving, Skip's in the passenger seat, and I'm in the back. And we get to the La Quinta. We change into our sweats. It's on a Friday. We used to play a doubleheader Saturday, a nine and a seven, and a single game Sunday. And we go to practice. And Well, we practice lasted 30 minutes because it was freezing cold. The rain's coming. It's, it's 25 awful. degrees. It's miserable. I mean, it was awful. It was 25 degrees. And so we're literally the rain's coming, and we're all just sprinting for the car. You know, for the Lincoln, that was back when Coach could run a little bit. He's actually jogging <laughs> for the for the for the car because we got you know the rain's coming down. It's twenty five degrees, so we get in our car. There's no cell phone, GPS. Coach had the phone in the bag thing back then, and so we get lost going back to the hotel. So Coach Bertman says, I mean they're arguing. You know, he's, he's yelling at Beetle. Beetle's yelling back at Skip. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm in the back seat, like, thinking to myself, if we just take a left right here at the street, <laughs> we could be there. But I mean, I'm not going to say anything because I'm a freshman, right? I'm just, just sitting there listening to these two guys get on each other. So finally, Coach, who, of course, has us have a Tampa, says, uh, you know, no, hot boxed me the whole time, didn't put the window down. He says, uh, hey, uh, pull over to this Cracker Barrel restaurant. We'll get something to eat. We'll figure it out. So we, we go over to the restaurant, <laughs> and Coach Bertman and I are sitting at the table, and uh, uh, Beetle goes to the payphone. You know, he's calling his wife. He's calling recruits. He's figuring out how to get to the hotel, whatever he's doing. And he leaves me with Coach. And I know now that Coach Bertman's sitting across from me thinking, what the hell am I going to talk to this guy about? <laughs> I've got an 18-year-old kid sitting across from me, and there's nobody else here at the table. So what am I going to talk to this guy about? So he starts with, uh, and he's got to have a Tampa and a crown and water. And I know he's going to deny that, <laughs> but he did. You know Cracker Barrel, like, crown This and was water. 1991 Cracker Barrel, Cracker Barrel Lexington, Kentucky. I, I, don't, I don't think it was legal then, but somehow it happened. <laughs> and so he says, uh, Rance, uh, How's school going? Good? Everything going good? Going to class? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Go, going to class. Study Lying hall. Lying through your teeth <laughs> at that Absolutely. moment in time. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, study hall. Good. Going to study hall. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Great, great. Good great, thing he didn't great. ask you where it was. Man. Hey, uh, you're not drinking too much, partying or anything like that. Uh, oh, no, no, coach. You know, nothing good happens after midnight. You know that, right? <laughs> yes, sir, coach. I'm a great, 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 great. You're not doing drugs, are you? You're not doing any of those, the marijuana, are you? No, 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 sir, coach. Not doing the drugs, not doing the marijuana. Yeah, because the marijuana, see, it's bad for you. It's bad for you. It messes with your brain cells and uh, kills your brain cells. He says, because I know that. Because when I used to teach health class at Miami Beach High, I used to teach the kids in the 60s during the marijuana phase. And the kids would tell me, you know, coach, you need to try the marijuana. And I said, dude, 
It's bad for you. It's not going to do that. And, uh, but I had a friend, I had a, I had a coach friend <laughs> who did the marijuana, and he said to me, Stanley, if you ever want to try it, just let me know because I think it would be good for you to teach the class if you knew what it did. And so finally, about halfway through the semester, I told the guys, you know what, give, give, it, give it a try. And so um, I uh, told Sandy Bear I had to go to a VFW <laughs> function or something. And instead, I drove across town in the guy's house, knocked on the door. He looks through the peephole. Is anybody following me? Like, what are you talking about? Nobody's following me. We come inside. There's a scantily clad woman. He shoes her to go get the stash. And he comes back, and he's going to explain to me about the marijuana. So he opens up the box and he says, oh, we got the Haitian black, we got the Dominican gold, we got the Cuban green. And he says, which one do you want to try? And I went with the Haitian black. <laughs> and we rolled it up and we smoked it. And after about 45 minutes, you know, I turned to him and said, look, it's not doing anything. This is uh, it's, it's ridiculous. I've tried it. The marijuana is not doing anything for me. And so I left and uh, went home. And he said, hey, Stanley, I'm sorry. You know, the first time for everybody's a little different. I'm, I don't know what to tell you. So uh, I'm on the interstate. I'm driving on the, uh, the I-95 uh, going back home. And all of a sudden, I notice cars are whizzing by me <laughs> on the interstate. And I look down, and I'm going five miles an hour. <laughs> and so I get home and... Uh, Park, uh, park the car, and I go to bed, and the next morning, Sandy Bear wakes me up earlier than normal and says, Stanley, Stanley, get up. And I'm like, what? What's the matter? I said, did something happen? And she said, well, you tell me. You know, the car, it's parked on the lawn. <laughs> so, Jumbo, don't do the drugs. <laughs> it's bad for you. The marijuana, don't do it. You and, think I don't know. And, right? uh, and I said, yes, sir. And, I mean, listen. Nancy Reagan and Skip Bergman, just say no. You know, I never did it. Never did it. You know, 